Bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claude and today, Leo, I'm going to be doing your conversation with your ancestors for the month of February. So I hope you're doing well. Now please remember those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. Take what applies and just forget the rest. If the messages do not resonate with you, you may want to check your Moon, Venus or Rising sign. So what do my Leo Quirins need to hear from their ancestors for February, please? So your first energy is the energy of sacrifice. It's card 28, which diminishes to number 10, which is the number of completion, the end of a cycle. What can you let go of? So you see this card talks about, um, it makes me think of the hangman tarot cards, basically, of sacrificing something, releasing something, so you can move forward. You can see she's, she's stuck, basically. She's even tied in in the earth here, which is why I think it's a very interesting card. So there is something, your ancestors are telling you there is something you need to release because you're not moving forward in life because you're holding on to something. Now this could be a past memory, this could be a, a job that, that's just not making you feel fulfilled. Um, this could be some kind of guilt or shame that you've experienced and you just can't let go of it and you are forever beating yourself up about something. This could be a relationship that's stopping you from growing, um, or even a toxic relationship that's just not good for you, is what I'm hearing. Obviously general reading, so take what resonates. And the second energy you have is number 19, Naz. So 1 and 9 is 10, and again, this is the end of a cycle, so you've got two 10s already. Now this says, feel loved and proud. And I love this card because you've got the bird in the nest between the two hands and the protection. And this is your ancestors protecting you. This is you. And your ancestors are telling you, we love you and we're here to support you and we will protect you. You are very, very much supported by your ancestors. I'm feeling all of the warmth and the love that's... I don't know, it's overcoming me. So they're looking at you and they're urging you to let go of something because something is really toxic for you. And they're telling you they're proud of you and, and they love you and they're here to support you and protect you. So what we got? Let's see. This one, John, the hangman, I'm telling you, this card has been coming out so much. Uh, I, I'm just confused. I think it's at least the fourth time it came out. It definitely came out um, with the air signs. So if you've got air in your chart, you may want to have a look at it because it is, I think it was Gemini and Libra that got it. Um, it's always coming out at the moment for some reason. I'm going to talk to you about that in a second. I'm just going to lay my cards first. I'll take this one. And this one. So you have the chariot. And the Six of Wands. Wonderful energy. Okay. Now, not surprised to see the Hangman come again, though, because although I said that I mentioned it's been in at least four readings, it's right under the card of Sacrifice, what can you let go of? It is the exact same energy. Um, you've got two major arcana out of three, so you're dealing with something important in your life right now. The major arcana represent... Um, 
situation, an event or relationship that's put on your life path in order to make you grow emotionally, intellectually or spiritually, depending on what the situation and events are. And um, remember that things don't happen to you, they happen, f they happen for you. So it's God, the universe, your angels, your ancestors, whoever you work with, who are um, helping you grow, uh, see it as an upgrade. Now the hangman talks about being in a limbo state, you know, some kind of stalling period, not moving forwards, because you can see he's in shackles, because he's got to sacrifice something, he's got to let go of something, and the minute he lets go of whatever it is, the relationship, the guilt, the shame, the resentment, um, the bad job, whatever it is that's no longer serving you, the minute you release this, you will then be able to move on. For some of you, this is a very specific message. Some of you may be in a toxic relationship um, with a narcissist, with someone... Um, this is this card talking to me, with, with someone um, making you feel lesser, um, damaging your self-esteem, um, you know, really saying bad things to you, um, to break you, to, so that you have no self-confidence or self-love left. Um, uh, and obviously your ancestors want you to leave this relationship and they want you to know that they are proud of you and, and you know, you are a, a beautiful person who deserves so much more love and affection and recognition from the person you choose as your partner. Sorry, that was for some of you, I had to say it. So next to the hangman, you have the chariot, the second major arcana, number seven, She's the number of experience, and with experience comes confidence. The chariot is a, a card of charging forward to success and victory. This is not going to be an easy road, but the, the person in charge of the chariot is not going to deviate. They, this is someone who's going to go for it, go straight forward, and, you know, when they come through the other end, they, they've they successed, they've succeeded, they have success, they, they're they triumphant. Um, this is a beautiful card of determination to, to win, you know, to get past this, so for some of you to heal, for instance. This is your ancestors telling you, you have got what it takes to let go of whatever it is that's hurting you right now, and to make a life for yourself. And if that card was not positive enough, it's reinforced with the Six of Wands. Now the Six is the number of um, harmony that comes after having overcome a big challenge. And Wands is the suit of passions and desires and what ignites you, it's fire energy. The Six of Wands talks about um, a, a success, of triumph, and also being recognized. Um, which is why you've got the, the, the pride element of this card. They, they, they love you and they are proud of you because you're going to come out of this um, beautifully. If it's a job where you're not getting the recognition and someone is stopping you from moving up, for instance, or getting a promotion, um, you may choose to go for another job, an even better job, that you're thinking, oh my god, am I going to be able to to get that job? And you're just going to put your heart and soul into it, and you will get it, and you're going to get recognized, if we're talking about a job situation here. Um, take what resonates. But if it's the relationship, a toxic relationship, um, this is you not only leaving the relationship behind, you know, succeeding into doing so, and rebuilding yourself into someone who's even stronger and incredibly attractive because the one suit, people who um, represent the one suits are charismatic people, um, attractive people, powerful people, you know, there's that sense of confidence from, you know, what didn't kill you basically made you stronger is what I'm hearing. And your ancestors are telling me just how strong you are and how much you've had to put up with is what I'm hearing. Any other messages, please? Let 
this one wanted to come out. Oh, God, they're sticky. Why are they sticky? They weren't sticky before. There we go. And so they take the second. There we go. So the one that we wanted to jump was card 35, which uh, reduces to number 8, the number of advancement. And it's the card of change. So change is coming your way. Your ancestors are telling you that they are making change happen in your life. And you can see the electricity of the card. So it may be sudden change. You may experience um, a very, very sudden change. And powerful too, if you look at the, the wave and the foam that the waves are... Um, creating and the birds are flying away. This is a powerful energy of change that's going to come very quickly. And number nine, assessing. Nine is the number of achievement and this is you looking at the bigger picture um, and see and looking at the change. You see? Looking at the change coming. Assess the situation, see the change coming and release what you need to release. This is coming from your ancestors, they're going to help you with this. I'm getting the distinct message that they are realigning things for you. Final advice, please. get number 30, Herald of Change. 30 diminishes to 3, which is the number of growth, expansion. And look at this card. I mean, they really are reinforcing this point. They're coming to make your circumstances change. They are behind you, they are protecting you, they are supporting you, and things are going to change very quickly. Do not despair is what I'm hearing. Do not feel stuck, just let go. If you feel heavy and your heart is heavy and you're in pain, ask your ancestors, your angels, the divine, the universe, whoever you work with, ask them to carry the burden for you. They'll do it gladly. Just give them, offer them your pain and say to them, um, please take this away from me so I may move forward. Change is coming. I, I, I can't, I mean, the cards... Um, are very funny in this respect. This is really, you know, very clear to me that the change is coming and you're not going to be stuck anymore. Things are going to move forward. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. If you did or if the message helped you in any way, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. I wish you a beautiful February month and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.